Hey guys, and welcome back to another Technology Guru video. So in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at an application called Reflector 2. This application allows you to mirror and record your iOS and yes, now Android devices. So as you can see here, I'm going to pull up the website right here and you can see it is now available for Mac, Windows, Android, and Fire TV. So for uh, $14.99, you, you are gonna have to pay for this, but again, it's a very, very good application. Application. So I'm gonna show you how to use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize the website now. As you can see here, my iPad is now being displayed on my computer monitor, which is going to allow me to record what happens on my iOS or Android device. So basically to link up your devices, I'm gonna go ahead and unlink the devices now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that in real time. So now you're just looking at my desktop. But if you look up here in the upper right hand corner, you're going to see the reflector icon right here. This shows that it's connected to my Mac Pro. And when you set it up, you basically just set it up and make sure that your device is on the same internet network, Wi-Fi network as your computer. Uh, so what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to connect the device back up and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So in order to connect your device, like you see here, my iPad is now being mirrored onto my computer desktop here. In order to do that, you need to swipe up on your device. This is for an iOS device. Now for Android, it may be a little different, but it's the same thing. You swipe up, turn on AirPlay. And then what you do is right here in the lower center of the screen, you're going to see something that says AirPlay and you should see your computer come available to you. Now you must have Reflector 2 open in order for this to work. And then you just click on the computer, you'll see a check mark and then click the little green check below that that says mirroring. This will allow you to mirror the device. Now what we can do is we can see here, I can swipe across and do anything on my device that I normally would and it will record what happens on my screen. You can even record the audio. Now, how do we record it? The easiest way to do that is to utilize the built-in record feature now. So in the upper left-hand corner of the screen here, you're going to see something that says record. If we click the record button there, you're going to see a record timer start playing here with the red record button. Now, whatever I do on the device, whether I open up a web browser, whatever I do on the device, swipe left, swipe right, any gesture that I do here on the screen is now going to be recorded. And you can also right click on your device and you can actually change the frame to be a different one. You can uh, change it to the default size, best for Retina Mac. You can even rotate it if you want to. You can even display this as full screen and that will eliminate your background on your desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and do the full screen and get out of that feature there. Now I'm going to stop the recording and then it'll say finishing recording. Now you'll have to set up where you want the recordings to download onto your computer. But once it finishes recording, it'll ask you, do you want to save the recording file? And then what you'll do is you'll just save the file as whatever you want it to be, save it on the desktop or wherever you want it, and then click save. Now what you're going to see here is if I go ahead and show you this video here, I'm going to pull it right over here. You are now watching in real time the video that I just recorded by using Reflector. Everything that I did there is going to show up on this video. It's great for reviewing applications, for doing gameplays, for mobile apps and mobile games, stuff like that. So again, this is available for iOS as well as Android. You can utilize it on Mac platforms, Windows platforms, uh, as well as other platforms as well. So hopefully this video has been a little helpful for you. If it has, go ahead and slap that like button down below. Don't forget to share the video with your friends and family. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching my videos and I will see you guys in the next one.